Hi guys, Adam here and welcome back to the video in Adam's Toyland. Today I'm going to be showing you this animal figurines set. Let's open this thing up and see what animals okay, we got. Okay, so this set comes with a ton of animals, which includes elephants, rhinos, a moose, giraffe, cheetahs, lions, hippos, zebras, and more. Let's look at all of these animals that come in the set individually. Okay, so the first animals that come in the set that we're going to look at are the lions. Okay, so these lions are a mix of red and black for color scheme. And actually up close, they actually look pretty accurate. Come back here pretty accurate to the real thing yep and a group of lions is called a pride and one of the prey items of, prey items of a lion is a zebra the next animal that comes in the set is a cheetah cheetahs are the fastest land mammals on the planet they can run approximately 70 to, to 80 miles per hour and Unlike lions, they they hunt alone and they are solitary as well. Unless, of course, it that that rule is accepted when a female cheetah has has cubs, and that's the only time that you'll find cheetahs in a group. And also, males will group up together if they're brothers. And one of the prey items of cheetahs is the Thompson's gazelle. The next animal that comes in the set is a tiger. And there are four tigers here. And just like cheetahs, they, they hunt and live alone, which they are solitary. And the only time that you'll find she tigers in the dark, in the, in a group is that with if it's a mom with cubs and male tigers will actually kill male male tigers will actually kill cubs so one of the female tigers or tigresses jobs is protect her cubs from males and one of their prey items is a water buffalo the next animal in this set that i'm going to show you today R is a zebra. Okay, zebras are one of the most common animals in Africa. And one of their predators is the lion. And, is the lion. and just like any herd animal, when a zebra is in a herd, it, is more, it feels safer because there are more eyes and ears looking out for danger. And... They have a cool camouflage ability where their stripes can blend together to confuse the predator. So they avoid getting caught by predators. And zebras cannot be domesticated by humans. And zebra stripes are like human fingerprints. Everybody's is just a bit different. The next animal that I'm going to be showing you today that comes in the set is a giraffe. Okay, so giraffes are the tallest land mammals on the planet. And they, from afar, they can camouflage like a tree. So, I don't know why he just fell over. Okay, from afar, giraffes look like tree trunks because, because of their cool spotted pattern for camouflage. And... They use that technique to get away from predators. And like the zebra, one of their predators is the lion. And they're the only animals that can, that are tall enough, they can get the leaves that are on the trees. And the acacia trees, on the other hand, the acacia trees in particular, they have thorns on their branches to protect their leaves. But... Giraffes have a purplish blue tongue that can, that is thorn proof and they can get the leaves. So that's cool. 
Okay, the next animal I'm going to be showing you today is a camel. The Bactrian camel, to be precise. The Bactrian camel has two humps, and the dromedary camel has one. And how you can tell them apart is, well, their humps. And the B and D in dromedary and Bactrian, when they are flipped over on their sides, they, the D has one hump, and the B has two humps. So that's cool. And there are five camels that, that come in the set, which are the most of the, that is the most animals that come in this group. All right, so, and these camels do not stand up very well. And camels live in the, live in the desert where very few animals live. And they actually have a cool creature power that can, one of the cool creature powers that they can deal with their habitat. They have cool, big, sand shoe-like feet. I don't think sand shoes are like a thing, but their toes actually spread out so they don't sink in the sand. That's cool. Okay, the next animal I'm going to be showing you today is the moose. So the moose is the most largest member of the deer family, and they live in North America. So how they are dangerous is their hooves are sharp, and their big antlers can do some serious damage. And one of their predators is are wolves, gray wolves to be precise. Okay, so the next animals I'm going to be showing you today are the polar bears. Polar bears are the biggest bears in the world. And I think, yep, polar bears are the only bears in the world that actually actively hunt humans when food is scarce. Their favorite food are seals and how they are, how they can survive the cold is that with that white, black, with that white fur and that is super warm with them. It's like a big snow jacket for humans. Okay, so underneath that white fur, a polar bear skin is black. Okay, the next animal I'm gonna be showing you today are the hippos. Hippos are actually the most dangerous animals in Africa because of those big mouths with their tusks inside their mouths. Okay, so, other than their tusks that make them dangerous, they are super territorial of their river, their home base, and they, they are pretty heavy too. And, so, yeah, they are even faster than humans. I think hippos have a top speed of 19 miles per hour. That is fast. And, hippos aren't really black in real life. But the black coloring looks really cool looking on this figure on these figurines. But hippos and coloration in the wild are a pinkish color. No, that is like of their sunscreeny stuff that they make on their skin. Their actual natural color is gray, I think. Yeah. And then the third largest mammal in the world, after the white rhinoceros and the African elephant. The next animal I'm going to be featuring today is the kangaroo. The kangaroo is the most common animal in Australia, and some people think that they look like big rabbits, but they're actually marsupials. And don't let their look fool you. Those claws on their feet, which they use for kickboxing battles, which they their dominance battles, those claws on their hands and feet, arms and their hands and feet, can easily do some damage. So, the best course of action to avoid a kangaroo attack is um, admire the admire these animals from a safe different dif distance. The second to last animal that I'm going to be featuring today is the rhinoceros. The white rhinoceros, to be precise. Okay, so, rhinos in general are very cool looking. 
They also look prehistoric with those cool horns on them. Actually, their horns are made out of, yeah. Rhino horns are made of keratin. The same stuff our fingernails are made of. That's cool. And unfortunately, humans hunt rhinos for their horn for I, I don't know what reason, but they should stop. And I think, yep, the northern white rhinoceros is very, very close to extinction. I think, yep, there are like two northern white rhinos left. So they need help to the creature rescue. The last animal that I'm going to be featuring today is one of the most iconic animals in the world. The elephant. And this is the African elephant. There are two species of elephant. The African elephant and the Asian elephant. And elephants are very friendly if they're treated well. But if they're not treated well, okay, let's just say they actually, yep, they're actually one of the most dangerous animals in Africa if they're treated badly. So, and they're also in sadly endangered because of their ivory tusks and people hunt them for their for ivory and that should stop and so do not hunt animals well wild animals and i think the only the only like sensible stuff to if you're gonna kill anything, it is you can is you need to eat it afterward. So all right, elephants are are meant to be lo being looked at in the wild, and they're the largest land mammals in the world. And the second and third ones are the white rhinoceros and the hippopotamus. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please click the like button down below and to subscribe. Click the picture of Veep the Cobra. That's my wild tree public cobra. To subscribe to this channel. Oh, one more thing. Stay loving animal figurines. See you later. Bye.